Greetings! I am Goddess Kira and a welcome to my channel. Today I'm listening to some Bruno Mars in the park and there's actually some water here. You guys see that? Water always brings in a beautiful breeze so you can sit in the heat but not feel like you're dying, especially in Texas. Um, okay, so uh, a lot, a lot. A lot goes on in my head. But last night I did a podcast on mental health because I was called to talk about mental health. Because I don't feel like people take mental health um, very seriously, you know, and it was just important to talk about that. And then this rising, when I was like in kind of like a dream state, I was having a conversation with myself in my head, you know. Well, really with God in my head. I was having a conversation with God. And if you put all your trust into God, right, and you don't really care what everyone else thinks, what everyone else says, and you're just focused on finding your purpose, what God has intended for you to do, what God's plan is for you, mock to, but it's written, right? Life runs smooth because, especially with mental health, I know that we can get to a point of suicide. You know, I know we can get to a point of depression, of sadness, and it's always so detrimental to our physical body, right? To our soul, right? Our mind doesn't really, matter at that point you know when you have those those suicidal thoughts and when you have those moments of depression and, and like intense sadness it's your body that is taking on that stress right it's your body that is it is going through stressors it is your soul that is being hit by your ego right and where God comes into play I know a lot of people out in the world do not believe in God right and I can understand because at one point I didn't believe in God and I don't believe in that God, you know, the one that I grew up up in, you know, in church and stuff, having to go to church every Sunday because that's what God wanted. Like, absolutely not. And we have been misled. As a society, we have been misled. As a society, we have been taught that it's okay to have mental illness, right? Because it's not real you know what I'm saying it's all in your head it's okay to just allow your ego to to do whatever your ego wants you to do to allow your mind to take control right it's okay to have your mind be more powerful than your body in this society but in reality it's not it's okay to allow God into your heart into your soul and into your body so that your mind can heal and you can release the ego and trust in the intentions and the purpose that God has set out for you, that God has written for you, that God has planned for you. Because Jesus died on the cross for our sins. So every time you make a mistake, every time you fall down, every time you feel there is failure to your success, that's God's plan. And it's not intended for you to give up, you know, or to take your own life that God has given you. Do you see how many people are dying? How many animals are dying? How Mother Earth is decaying in some parts of the world? Forest fires, global warming. Do you see that? That life is being taken from these souls, right? The souls are being extracted from the physical body and the mind is not even in question when that happens. And yet we are so easy to just resort to death. And it's like, what about living? Do you understand that life in itself to just sit here, breathe, and be in the moment, be in the present moment and now is so powerful. It's so powerful and not that many beings, living beings get to do that. Matter of fact, a lot of insects and bugs die within two days. There is, that's their life, right? So if your life, if God intended for you to die in two days, you're gonna die in two days, right? You're gonna get that news, you're just gonna die in two days. But don't rush the process, right? I got some advice and it was like, God is with you, you know? God, God is with you and God is following you on your path. But don't go getting in no trouble. Don't go making it hard for God. Don't make it hard for God to help you. Don't make it hard for God to talk to you. Don't make it hard for God to hold your hand and guide you through life. Every day I show gratitude for, you know, being guided and protected along my journey. I show gratitude to the Most High for being guided and protected along my journey. Why? Because I have been through so much. And without that guidance and protection, I could be dead right now. I'd probably be dead right now. But I still believe in 
the most high. And at one point I didn't realize it was God, right? I just believed in the most high, beloved, however you see it, but it's, it's, it can be God, right? The creator, just think about it that way. If you wanna take out God and just put the creator, that's fine. But find a way to trust in a higher power because if you don't have anybody to believe in, how do you believe in yourself? How do you believe in yourself if you have no one else to believe in? It's not about um, in envy, you know, or cockiness. It's about adorn, adornment, right? You adore someone at a highest power and that allows you to live up to that someone, right? So it's not like every time you fail, they're gonna shame you. No, when you are envious of somebody, when you fail, you think about how that person is gonna be disappointed, right? How that person is gonna be like, uh, well, you didn't, you weren't successful. But God is not like that because God is on your team. God is in your heart. God is Kira. You realize why I have that name? Because God is me. I am God, right? So God is not disappointed in my failures. I don't give a fuck who, who body, whoever else is disappointed when I fail or when I succeed. I don't care. I'm not envious of you. I don't live up to anyone else's standards. I live under God. And that is the beauty. That is the lesson. That is the moment to learn, to accept, and to be free in. Another thing I was thinking about. That was a lot. But another thing I was thinking about. Your words are powerful, right? Just like your hands are wands, your words are spells to be written in this life. We do have that ultimate magician power, magical star, ever galactic dust power to create our reality. And you may not realize it, but everything that you're going through right now, everything that's happening in your life, everything that is surrounding you, you create it. Somewhere in your life, you spoke this into existence. You might not remember because it was so long ago. Things don't just happen overnight. Sometimes they do, but you have to be impeccable with your word because what you are speaking into the universe is what you are creating. Even if it happens the next moment, three years later, 10 years later, 20 years later, you're gonna look at that moment. I have deja vu. So I see the moments and I'm like, dang, I remember when I said this and here we are. It's, it happens, it happens. So when I hear a lot of people say the word want, and I used to say it a lot until I, I, um, I was taught you know, what this word means and how to release that from my vocabulary. To want is to lack. Want goes under the category of fear. And last night on my podcast, I said, create a Venn diagram or two columns, if you will. There is love and there is fear. All of the positive entities go under love. All of the negative entities go under fear. Hate, disgust, envy, jealousy. Anything that's negative that doesn't bring you a good feeling is fear. There's only two sides to the story, just like there are two sides to the coin. We add the other parts. We add the other perspectives with our ego opinion, getting involved in business that we have nothing to do with because there is love and there is fear. Two sides to the coin. And then you add everything into those two categories. Don't go creating no other categories. It's only love and fear. So if you want something, that, what that says to me, when I hear people say that word, what that says to me is you're envious of something because to want is to lack, right? So if you take this for example, your friend got some pink, hot pink Skechers, right? I don't think so. Anyway, your friend has some hot pink Skechers and you're like, dang, I want those. Right there in that moment, you're never gonna get those hot pink Skechers. And if you do, it's gonna come with a price, a consequence that's gonna fall under the fear right because you're lacking you're envious of her hot pink sketchers instead of instead of taking a step back and being like dang your shoes is fine need me some of them that word change that impeccable with your word in that moment will shift your entire spell to create the magic that you desire to see in this moment or in the following moments right to say that you need some is showing god the universe that okay this is a necessity this is a desire this is what this person um would like to be in so let's make it happen but when you say to want well dang i lack those pink sketches and your brain your mind your ego is taking control of your third eye of your center source of your chakras aligned and it's saying man bump all that we know what we want, we know what we lack, and then that's all you focus on. You focus on lack. You focus on what you lack. So you lack the pink sketches, you lack the 
billion dollar house. You lack the billion dollar salary. You lack the love in your life. You're just saying all of this shit and you don't even realize that you're creating your reality. So when you want to find love, well, you lack love. Go love yourself. You wonder why you're not getting back what you're putting out because what you're putting out is what you actually don't have. Abraham Hicks talks about this all the time, speaking to existence what you desire in your life. It's so important. God wants you to do this. God is here to listen to you, but you have to talk to God. You have to listen to God and you have to talk with God in order to understand your purpose with intention and then to follow the path. Don't make it hard for God to help you, to hold your hand, to guide you along your journey. Don't make it hard. It doesn't need to be. So when we get back to mental, mental health, which is real, and we realize that mental health is the ego playing us as hard as it can, we have to put our heart in the hands of God because that is the only way we will heal. That is the only way because God can show you that he's more powerful, he or she is more powerful than your mind. Way more powerful than your mind because your mind is just the ego making up excuses, making up fear, making up fear, making up fear within your body and causing this ease within your body, within your soul, within your spirit, where God can literally just grab your hand, hold your shoulder, give you a hug, kiss your temple and say, hey, I got you. Forget all that. I got you. Forget all that. I got you. Forget all of that. I got you. And when you allow that love in, you're in love. Fear cannot exist where love lies. Just like love cannot exist where fear lies. You get me? God cannot exist if your mind is filled with fear. God can only exist if you are open in your heart to love. Stop trying to find other people to feel that emptiness within you. Stop trying to find other things to feel that emptiness within you. Get right with yourself. No one is gonna help you out of this mental health. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I've had suicidal thoughts. I've attempted suicide. I've been, I think I'm fucking bipolar or shit, right? My, my mind, my ego has literally played me to think that I can't be happy all the time. That if I'm too happy, something's wrong because literally people call that shit out like it's funny. Like, oh, you're so happy all the time. Is that a bad thing? You know? And then the ego will fucking come to you and be like, yeah, that's bad. You need to be sad. Da, 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 da. Right? Overthinking things constantly. I'm a Virgo. I overthink shit. So I really had to open my heart up to God because otherwise I'd be dead. And it's not fun. It's really not fun. But no one can help you out of that. Therapy and stuff is good. Do you have somebody to talk to? to really just release all of that, but you're putting that on to somebody else. Who you need to be in therapy with is God. God needs to hold your hand and get you through because God can take it all in and it not destroy their character, not, not destroy their soul. Why? Because God is the creator. How can you destroy the creator when you were created by the creator? God has all the power to heal you and then pour back into you because God has been pouring into himself this entire time enough to create all of our beautiful lives, give us all a purpose with intention so that we can thrive and be happy and at peace by just being. So what you really have to do is tap into yourself so God can be tapped into you. And then when you do that, let love win because where love lies, fear cannot exist. And that is a powerful conversation of today. I give thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my background music and this beautiful view and all of the running bodies that have been passing by. Let love win. Let God into your heart. Pray. Be grateful for the new beginnings, the new opportunities, the new life, the new you. It's a beautiful day. Soak in the sun. Let God give you a kiss on your forehead. Let God hold your hand, guide you on your journey. Be present in the moment and give thanks. Ashe. Peace.